So this is an inside look at the Combo River. I actually taught this combo months before the video that most of you probably recognize at Movement Lifestyle. The song was suggested to me by a good friend of mine, Amanda Sook, who has great taste in music, and she told me that this song would be great to use. And I actually would never have thought to have done a heels combo to it, but I've been teaching heels intensives and I needed a new combo, so thus a heels combo was born. <laughs> I wanted to use a lot of the concepts that I use in my heels intensives, which include stillness, it's really difficult for some people to be still because you're exposed and you can't hide behind a bunch of choreography. But as you can see, the students are just so ready to take on this challenge. This is footage from the intensives. And the goal was to create a template for everybody to be able to be themselves. So every time you do the combo, it should feel different because you should be pulling from a different place each time. Every time you stomp, it should be telling a different story. Every time you smack that leg open, it should be coming from a different place. So in the intensive, the cigarette is uh, an exercise we do. We go across the floor and you go one at a time and you have to pretend you're holding a cigarette and you see what comes out. By the way, can we take a moment to appreciate the cigarette on the wall that's in my hand? Um, so the cigarette is a great tool to use to see what comes out of you when you're forced to work from the inside out and not copy other people, not do what's derivative of what's popular and trendy at the moment, but it makes you have to actually work on your artistry and play a character. The hunched over position is something that is not traditionally seen as sexy. It's just all about being a human being. And then when it all kicks in and the aggression starts to happen, again, it's not about being sexy. We happen to be in heels, but it's just about connecting to the song. You can be aggressive and make faces that are aggressive faces and still be hot and sexy and powerful at the same time. So I don't necessarily have an agenda when I'm creating a combo like this. It's more so making a really simple blueprint for the students to be able to then fill it in with who they are and not be afraid to go past the limit of what they think is cool or sexy or trendy, but just dance from the inside out. I also turned the combo into a full performance for the Choreographer's Carnival, which is an event that happens every year in Los Angeles. Lip syncing is the third concept that I incorporated into the combo that is from my intensives. We do a lot of lip syncing in the intensives because it's also a way to get you to work from the inside out. It was really fun to extend the combo into the full song, including the breakdown. And I feel that it's cliche and definitely a 2017 buzz topic to talk about female empowerment. But when I hear my students in the Q&As and I see that it's a real problem day in and day out for their whole lives, they've had expectations put on them by the media, magazines, social media, friends, parents, strict dance teachers. Women around the world have endured these expectations and it's cumulative and it's tenfold for dancers who are literally judged by their physical appearance every day. And in trying to fit into this image of what's sexy, you're silencing who you are as a human being. And if you are a dancer, you're silencing who you are as an artist. There is so much power when you realize that you are enough. It sounds cliche, but truly, uh, across gender and across industry, if you see someone dancing, stomping the ground, staring at themselves in the mirror for two eight counts, doing nothing and being totally fine with that and totally confident within that, it can inspire you to go, yeah, that person is radiating something, doing nothing, just standing there. And that sort of confidence and sense of self permeates outside of yourself as an artist into your real life and can permeate through the people that you come in contact with. And if a dance routine can do that, I'm all for it.